Hi, welcome to our first tutorial for Rescue Robotics. In this tutorial we'll show you how to set up Ubuntu on Windows. Okay, in this tutorial you will learn how to install Oracle VM VirtualBox on your desktop PC. Second, we will set up a virtual machine in the Oracle VM VirtualBox. And third, based on or based on this virtual machine which we set up, uh, we will then install Ubuntu 18.04, the long-term service version. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first step is to get the Oracle VM virtual box. So let's simply Google for it, for example, and we can find it here directly. So we then simply download our virtual box we have to choose our operating platform so in this case we have a windows operating platform of course if you have a os operating system um, then you can use also this and if you could also have um, these virtual box for linux distributions however if you have already a linux distributions you won't need any virtual box Okay, let's get the Windows shows and now the download starts. Okay, now after the download has finished, we can now simply start the execution. And start the installation. So we simply click through the installation process. For example, here we should add all normal installation things. Uh, we can choose here our installation folder and then we can go on go on uh, we can have an entry on our desktop um, we don't need this we don't don't need this necessarily all we need this um, then we simply can go on and install everything okay that's going first um, here the uh, virtual box asks for drivers. Um, these drivers will allow you to add USB devices on your PC, which then can be connected due to the uh, virtual machine. So we should install them. Okay. Let's finish. Okay, now we have opened our uh, virtual box. Uh, we want to like to add a new virtual machine. So we click here on new and then we type in a name. In our case, I will call this machine Ubuntu 18.04. And I have to choose a machine folder. I will simply let this be the machine folder. Um, however, I might, no, I will let this be the machine folder. And then I have to choose the type, so I choose Linux and I choose Ubuntu 64-bit version. If you have only a 32-bit PC, you should also, you should use a 30-bit, 32-bit version. So then we click on next, we choose um, the amount of memory we want to give our virtual machine. You should not choose too low or too high memory usage, otherwise um, if you choose a too low memory usage, you will have problem with simulations inside our virtual machine. If you choose a too high memory usage, then your PC for all other operations will may cause some problems. So I will choose the half of my um, RAM. Okay, then we we'll click next. Um, we would like to create a virtual hard disk now. We don't have one, um, so we have to create one. Um, we choose this type for a virtual disk image and then we simply use dynamically allocated uh, hard disk storage. And now we have to define the size on how much um, we want to use. And I would like to use, for example, 20 gigabyte. That should be enough for our usage. And then we simply choose 
the storage for our hard disk drive and I will choose the following storage I will put it under D and call this my VMs and then simply store this there um, the reason is because I have on a CSD, SSD and there's not so many space um, for 20 gigabytes. So and D is HDD, so there's uh, much more space. Okay, let's create this. And now it's done. Now we have created our virtual machine. Okay. Now that we have created our virtual machine, we need now an ISO image uh, of our operating system. So we want to have Ubuntu 1804 and we want an ISO image. So let's go here. And here we can see it's Ubuntu 18.0.4.4 LTS, so the long term service version. Um, this is what we want to have. So we click simply here on download and then the download will start and we get the ISO image. Okay, now our file, our ISO image uh, of Ubuntu 18.04 has been downloaded. So now we can go back to our virtual machine and we can start our virtual machine. So now we wait until our virtual machine has set up and now we have to um, choose our um, drive, okay, so so let's add something here. And we can add this here by going on to downloads, ISO image. And here we go. Okay. So now we can start and now the virtual machine starts. We can make Okay. Now we can install Ubuntu. So if we choose our language, so I will choose um, English. Um, then we can simply click here on install Ubuntu. And uh, then we have to choose our keyboard layout. Um, you make sure you choose your right keyboard layout. Um, I have a German um, keyboard, so I will choose um, the German layout. Um, you can test your layout. For example, I tested with question mark, with a Y and a that. So it works quite well. So I will click now continue. Uh, now I have to choose the installation. So I would like to have a no installation. And I would like to download updates while installing Ubuntu. So I will click simply continue. And we have a clean disk, so basically we just initialize our virtual machine, so we have a clean disk. So we choose erase disk and install Ubuntu. So and then we can start our installation. Uh, now we have to wait again. Um, oh, let's go. So we have to choose a country, for me it's Berlin, uh, for the time, on uh, choose your name, uh, for me it's Niels, on uh, a password, um, so I want to tell you my password, um, so just choose any kind of password for this, uh, here in our case I simply choose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you should never use this kind of password, however, here it will be enough. And now the installation begins.
Okay, now we successfully installed Ubuntu. Uh, we can restart the system now. So we click on restart. Okay, now Ubuntu has been started. Now we can simply click on our user and our password and log in. So then it initializes our login screen. And here we are. So basically that's it. Um, so if you will go over what's new in Ubuntu and then we're done. Okay. So we see each other in the next session and this next session will be about how to install OS, the robot operating system on Ubuntu. So see you then.